All right, guys, we're kind of roughing it today. I'm at a campsite in central Pennsylvania. Um, we just moved here a couple weeks ago and uh, we're looking for a house. So um, I'm doing this uh, out, out of the back of my truck and we're gonna uh, make it happen. It should be pretty easy, uh, but anyway. Okay, we're looking at an 09 to 14 F-150 aux beam switch panel mount. Uh, and this is by Rad Designs. They make this for the sunroof models right now, and I believe they're making them for non-sunroof models um, soon. Those will, those will be on their website. So what this basically achieves is it holds the Austrian switch panel and you can mount it up into uh, the roof of your car right behind your sunglasses panel. Um, this is 3D printed and it's only $35, which I really couldn't believe the price. So given that this is 3D printed, you don't have a perfect finish, um, but that's just kind of how it goes for 3D printed items. Um, and at, at this price point, I really don't see that as a problem. I mean, $35 is like, it's not nothing, but um, it's so much cheaper than everything else on the market. Um, so what I'm gonna do is give it a quick sand. I'm gonna prime it and paint it, and then I should be good to go. Installation on this should be relatively easy. I think it just kind of clicks in place and um, you run your, your wire through um, the A-pillar and you should be good to go. So I just gave it a real quick sanding. First I started with, I think it was like 180 grit and I think I finished it with 320. Um, this just got rid of some of those lines uh, from the uh, 3D printing process. So then I gave it a couple coats of some Rust-Oleum primer followed by some semi-gloss black. Okay, so here's the finished product after painting. I went with a semi-gloss black. I think um, I, I should have went with a, a satin. It's a little bit too glossy for my taste, but I was being a little bit impatient and just grabbed what they had on the shelf. Um, you can still see some of the 3D printing marks, but it's um, that little sanding um, really improved it and I was Again, being a little lazy, and I, I could have uh, sanded that out a little bit more, but um, it's starting to get cold, and I don't really have uh, the best, uh, you know, conditions to, uh, you know, paint outside in. So, okay, so we are in the truck now, and for those of you that did not watch the video where I installed this, as you can see, I ended up just basically screwing it to the dash. Um, I didn't necessarily love this solution. Um, it kind of is pretty ugly, um, and a lot of the viewers did not like this either, which I can completely understand, but it was the best uh, thing I could think of at the time, given all the, you know, limited space um, and, you know, just easy reach. But what this product is going to do, this product is essentially going to move this um, switch panel up here to right behind uh, this overhead center console where you keep your sunglasses, where you have your lights. Um, and right by the sunroof. Um, and what I think it basically does is it hooks on to the, I don't know, this headliner by the sunroof here and slips under, let's see, let's see if you can see that, slips under the um, this overhead center console lip right there. So it kind of squeezes between the headliner and this plastic right here. Um, so obviously, this is a, a much cleaner solution. It's really out of the way. Um, it should be pretty fair, pretty easy to, you know, utilize and touch all the, uh, you know, whatever button you want. So uh, the next thing I do is get this off the dash here and uh, yeah, and then start routing some cables. So they designed this in a really smart way. Um, it, first of all, it, it fits really nicely in here. Um, looked, it looks looks really nice. I initially thought it was just a friction fit. But when you flip it over, um, you'll see this kind of slot that's cut in here. And what this slot is, uh, there's a little piece of little flat bar that comes with the, uh, with, the with the switch panel, and this will slide in right here. Um, and kind of a cool little kind of will sit in this notch, um, and then you can screw it down with the supplied screws. And um, Basically, that'll keep it locked into the mount here, um, and they they have a really nice little, um, I guess you can call it a little pathway for the the cable here, which will pass it up into the. See if my camera will. There we go. Pass it up behind the headliner up here, and then you could run it down the A pillar to the uh, controller, which I have mounted under the hood. 
really hoping the uh, cable um, <laughs> makes it that far. If not, I'll have to do some electrical work in order to extend the uh, the wire there. But um, I don't have this bar here right now. Um, it's in a box somewhere in in a storage container uh, with with all, with all my personal belongings. But um, I think for now. Um, I'll put it up there. I'm not doing any off-roading in the near future while we get settled. Um, so I think just the friction itself will hold this in place. But obviously, I recommend you inst install the correct way and put that bar in there. Okay, so if you didn't see my first video on this, um, I ended up mounting this. I guess this is the passenger side of the vehicle, kind of up on this cow here. And then I ran the wires right to the grommet. The big old rubber grommet that's down there that you can see the uh kind of the braided line right there and that goes right into the uh passenger footwell let's go over here so um i routed it through there pulled it pulled it through and then kind of i'm out going out the side right now um just temporarily here so the next step will be to run it all the way through the A pillar here, and then over through the headliner to the overhead center console, if you will. Um, I temporarily routed it with um, when I had two hands available, and I think it's going to be barely enough, um, but we will see. Worst comes to worst, I will just cut and splice and add, um, add additional length if I need to. Um, it's only a four pin connector. So um, that shouldn't be very hard if I have to, but um, I will keep you updated and let you know. Um, I think the next step is going to be um, figuring out how to remove this A pillar trim. Sorry, I know this lighting is horrible. And um, then round the wire through there. Okay, so um, I just popped these caps off and there's two seven millimeter bolts to remove. Um, and we'll see. What, what else needs to happen once these are out. So once you get the two bolts out, I think you just pop this out. Let's try my other hand here. Yep. Um, and just one thing you wanna be careful of, there are speaker wires that are still gonna be attached, so just be careful with that. So I'm gonna leave mine kind of just, I'm gonna hold it up with one hand here and then route, route the wires through. Um, but I'm going to do that uh, with two hands, so. <laughs> The, uh, the the wire might be totally routed by the time you guys uh, by the time you guys get back in here. Okay, so I pretty much got it fully routed. Um, what I ended up doing was just popping uh, the headliner out a little bit, or, which is super simple. Just <laughs> pull it down, get it past the weather trim weather seal here, um, and then I kind of poked the wire in towards the driver's side, and I reached in through the sunroof hole and went in and grabbed it. So now I'm gonna seal this all up. I'll fish this towards the overhead center console and I should be really close to getting this thing fully installed. All right, I'm gonna try to put you straight upright like this. See if that works. Let's see. All right, hopefully that works. So I think you gotta put the top in first and then get it. Or maybe just do it simultaneously like that. Is it in? I think it might be in. And then we're just gonna hook up the, close that, Let's see what that looks like. So that closes all the way. The cord's here. What do I do with the cord? Let's see. Let's hook this up. Don't know if you can still see. Hopefully you can. Gotta get the key figured out here. Okay. Get that tightened up. Tuck the wire in here. Ok, 
Okay. So it's in. I think the sunroof will actually help. The sunroof uh, cover or the sliding part of the sunroof here will actually help secure that in place a little bit. Um, but I think it's in all the way. Let's see. I know I'm not to show you guys this in some better light, but um, it actually it contours to the uh, to like the headliner and the structure of the of the roof up here quite nicely. I mean, it feels pretty secure. Um, I mean, if you're worried about it, I guess you could always like get some get some Velcro or something like that and uh, attach it that way. You know, put it behind the uh, the, the switches here yourself, but. Um, yeah, it should be uh, should be operational. All right, so I'm in my seating position here, as you can see, and the switch panel is up here. I've got my little phone flashlight up here, so you guys can see this better. But like, it's super easy, like super short reach to you know reach the various buttons up here, um, and it blends in super nicely. Um, so I'm pretty impressed with that. Um, it looks a lot better than. <laughs> being mounted down here and honestly this was like annoying to reach to um, and like I would have to take my eyes off the road for sure to like hit these um, up here you you can kind of like feel and keep your eyes on the road a little bit better and it's also just just an easier more convenient place for it to be um, let me back up here so you can see it a little bit better Let's see if I, there we go I'll straighten that out Again, I, I wouldn't have gone um, semi-gloss again. I would probably go satin, probably make that blend in a little bit better. Um, but that's 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 my decision. That was not uh, that was not Rad Design's decision on that. But um, really cool product. I, I like it. Um, I'll uh, obviously have to do a little bit more testing um, to really see how secure it is. But initial impressions, it's. Um, it's simple but effective and looks like it'll stay locked in there pretty well um, But yeah, so for 35 bucks you really can't beat it and uh, Yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Okay, so um, I would say overall man that install was probably 20 minutes um, if you already had the rest of the uh, switch panel installed and you were just putting in this amount It was super easy um, and for $35, again, I really, um, I'm really impressed with it. And it's, it's a really neat idea, and uh, it's pretty cool that it's custom made for the F-150. So um, if, you have a, if you have this generation of F-150 and uh, you want a little bit better way to mount this, uh, this is a good solution. Um, and like I said, I'm pretty sure um, this, this is their sunroof model, and I'm pretty sure they're coming out one without the sunroof as well. So. Um, check those guys out I'll put a uh, link in the description and uh, it will also have a, a discount code with it as well so uh, be sure to use that if you want it a little bit a uh, little bit cheaper so all right guys thanks let me know if you have any questions and uh, see you next time